Got a package today. I'll go ahead and unbox this and show you guys what my first impressions are of the new intake manifold. We got the fuel rail. And we got the new LS3 Trinity manifold. Packing list, instructions. Park specs. So, so far, first impressions right out of the box. The packing seems a lot better than the Holly Sniper. I've had both the Sniper Low Pro and the normal Sniper. Before I even taking it out, I'm already, I'm already impressed with this. Looks a lot better. It's definitely heavier, but that's going to happen with the cast manifold. I am not disappointed at all. I can't wait to get this on the car and see how it does. Got our O-rings. Got more O-rings, gaskets, screws, fittings. Check out the fuel rail. More packing lists, instructions, torque specs. Yeah, the packing is already 100% better than any Holly intake manifold I've ever got. Got to have the BTR in there. The fuel rails look nice. They feel nice and solid. All the little brackets are solid, got screws. If I can get this out, the fuel rail ends. All the brackets. Definitely have to say, this is a lot nicer than any Holly intake manifold I've gotten. Just out the box already. Definitely impressed with BTR, but who isn't? This manifold is a beast. I'm not going to put it on the car yet, I'm still waiting for my headers, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up to Nigel's, I'll do a couple of dyno poles with the low pro sniper on there, then I'll pull this off, 
pull that off, throw this on on the dyno, and do a couple pulls back to back. That way I can compare stock port intake manifold, the Sniper Low Pro, and then the BTR back to back on the dyno. The issue I'm having with the car is with the newest combo, I'm, the power is dropping off real bad up top. It, it's definitely the intake manifold just restricting it. The, this intake manifold does a lot better than the stock ported one did, but it's still not doing what it should do. So that's why I went to the BTR. I didn't want to cut the hood. I want something to fit under the hood. I didn't want to go high ram. And so what I've heard from talking to other people, this is pretty much the best thing you can get besides for high ram. The parts look good. There's not like bad casting marks or anything. So far, I'm definitely impressed with this. I've already said that, but we'll see how it does. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm 125 subscribers away from 500, and every 250, I'm going to do a giveaway. I gave away some shirts and stickers last time at 250, so 500, I'll do the same thing. I'll throw something else in. 750, I'll throw something else in. And then 1,000, I'm giving away HP tuners along with like a shirt and a couple other things I'll throw in there. So go ahead and click that subscribe button.